welcome everybody. So today I want to show you how to start adding on your design to your Tumblr. So once you've decided on which design it's going to be and what your Tumblr is going to look like and all that, you want to look at how many negative spaces that you added on your bowl. You should probably do at least two, usually groups of odd numbers like three uh, tend to be really good. So like if you have five on your bowl, you maybe will do like three on your tumbler. So I wanna show you how to divide up your space evenly on your tumbler, okay? So first off, you need to have your tumbler basically completed. So mine is pretty close, like I need to still do some smoothing and stuff, but mine's pretty close to being ready. Now you can do this using a string, but I do have these in class, which is kind of nice. This gives you um, some spaces where you can kind of, you know, divide up your space. If you want two, then you're going to put a little mark at zero and at 50. And then you would make your design on here and here. So it lines up with that little dot. Now, if you're going to do three, then that would be zero, 33%. 66% and then the last third is the zero again. So I'm gonna do three. So I'm gonna put my mark at zero. I'm gonna put a mark at 33 and then I'm gonna put a mark at 66. So now I have a, you know, evenly spaced three, you know, shapey thing. Now remember you do wanna make sure that your um, texture is not up top. Okay, it needs to be at least one third from the bottom of your cup, at least one third tall, and up to two thirds tall. So it has to be this whole bottom, plus it could be this part. And you're gonna have one part of negative space, and it only counts as negative space if the whole thing is surrounded by something else, right? So when you're trying to figure out how far down to put your shapes, or where to put your shapes. If you want to, you could actually cut out your negative space and you could put it on the side here and trace it, that's fine. But depending on how you wanna do it, you might need a couple different tricks. So I have my line right here. Sometimes if I'm trying to decide how far I want things up, I'll use my tool to make a mark and then I'll make sure that on the rest of them, I make the mark in the same place. So I'll put my tool here again. I'll make a little mark. So now I know those two and I go around and do the third. Those two are definitely even. So maybe that's where I want to start my negative space. So when I start deciding what I want stuff to look like, ultimately, I want to trace it out really lightly with my needle tool. And let's see, there's my other mark. So I wanna trace it out really, really lightly with my needle tool and make sure that everything looks right before I move to the next step. So I would do this on all three sides. And then for this pattern, there's a little extra bit on here, right? Oh, and if you need it to go a little higher, like if you're, if that, just using your needle tool to roll over was not far enough, you can actually just fold a piece of paper and kind of lay the paper over the side and you can adjust the paper to whatever size you want. And as long as it's flat on here, when you make your mark, it'll be the same, right? So that's, that's a good way to do it if you need it to go past, you know, something like your needle tool, okay? So I do still need to sketch out the rest of my areas though. I need to sketch out the rest of these, so on mine, because if I'm holding it this way, you know, mine kind of goes up and around, right? So I might start by kind of like gently tracing out this kind of bit. And I would do that on all three sides. And then now mine kind of comes to a point right here and then it goes up from there. So I might try to do something like that. And then, you know, it's got a wide space. So I'd look at my design again and I can smooth out because I'm just using my needle tool. I can smooth out anything that doesn't look right. So if it doesn't look even, fix it until it does look even, right? But once you have this all drawn out, 
Then you're gonna emphasize those lines a little bit with your pencil tool. And you're gonna use those to widen those lines. And as long as you're holding it really nice and flat and following the curve, um, you know, if you're going this way, then make sure your pencil tool is going the way you're going. Uh, but you're gonna widen those areas a little bit, but be careful not to make them too deep, right? But you'll trace all those areas with your pencil tool once you've had a chance to sketch them out with your needle tool. Once you've done that and you have it all the way around, that's when you're gonna start adding in your shapes now or your texture. So for me right now, this is a little bit soft, but I've been able to just hold it. And since I was lightly tracing, it didn't matter if I had support on the inside. Well, now it does matter if I have support on the inside, because if I'm gonna push on this to create my textures, I need to have support from the inside. And I'm not talking about laying it on the table. If you lay this on the table, you're going to squish it and it's gonna do a bunch of cracking and stuff. So you have to use your hand on the inside so you're putting your hand on the inside and resting it against this area and you're pushing against your hand, okay? To create the textures. So you're pushing against your hand. If you don't have anything in here, you will break your project. Uh, one thing I have noticed students do in the past is they will set it on their lip, especially when they do their bowl, they try to do this, and they will push against it with nothing on the inside that will break your project, okay? It's gonna break your lip and it's gonna dent like your tumbler so it's all crazy, okay? So keys for success, make sure that you lightly trace everything first with your needle tool, super lightly. Trace over it again with the, once you've got it all figured out with the pencil tool, make sure you get all the clay boogies and stuff and then make sure you support from the inside when you start adding on your texture. You have to support from the inside, not us, when adding on your texture and do not set it on the table in this direction. You will break your project and have to start over, okay? I don't want that to happen to you. So just make sure you hold it in your hand. If you want to, you can gently rest it in, um, in your lap. Uh, and have your hand still in there, you could do that. And if you wanna get an apron, you can. Okay, so happy making, be creative, you can do this. And uh, um, yeah, good job, peoples. <laughs>